Hi everyone, I'm Avantika. I lead the climate change program at the Center for Science and Environment. A new report by India's power ministry, particularly the Central Electricity Authority, offers updated projections on what India's energy mix for the power sector could look like in 2030. Currently, about 73% of India's power comes from coal, which is expected to go down to 55% by 2030. Renewable sources will rise to 31% in 2030 from about 12% right now. It's important to note that power capacity differs from generation. Capacity is the maximum power a plant can produce and is typically expressed in watts. Generation is the actual amount of power produced in one hour, expressed in terms of watt hours. If we look at solar and wind power alone, India's capacity and generation are both expected to quadruple. CA estimates that for coal plants, about 2000 megawatts is considered for likely retirement by 2030, of which they say 304 megawatts will be retired already during the year 2022 and 2023. But with rising power demand, while the share of coal will reduce in the energy mix, coal power will rise in absolute terms by about 19% in terms of capacity and by 13% in terms of generation. The CEA published the same report in 2020 and the current version is an update from that version. Some of the projections have been revised. So for example, power generation that was projected for coal has gone up from 54% to 55% in 2030 compared to the 2020 report. They have also raised the hydropower generation from 8% to 9%. Solar is expected to take a bigger chunk of future power needs as compared to the previous report. So they've revised the projection upwards from 19% to 23%. The CEA has also revised its projections for total installed power capacity downwards. They are now saying that about 777 gigawatts of installed power capacity will be required in 2030 as compared to 817 gigawatts that they had projected in the previous version of the report. CEA also gives a projection for the storage capacity that will be required by 2030, about 60 gigawatts from both pumped hydro as well as battery storage. India has green hydrogen aspirations and they will lead to an additional energy requirement of 250 billion units by 2030. This is a lot. To put this in context, in 2022, India generated only 173 billion units from solar and wind energy for its basic power needs. CEA's projection indicate that India is likely to overachieve on its pledge to the Paris Agreement, which was to have 50% of installed power capacity from non-fossil sources by 2030. As per the report, India's share of capacity from non-fossil sources will be 62% by 2030 and if we consider nuclear power as well, it will actually be 64%. The power sector contributes about 40% of India's total greenhouse gas emissions. We have growing energy demand, as is expected of a developing country. As a result, our power sector emissions are projected to rise 11% by 2030. Today, our power sector emissions comprise about 8% of global power sector emissions. In 2030, we will comprise 10% of the corresponding global figure. On a per capita basis, even in 2030, this will be about half the world average for India. To know more about environment, science and technology, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description below.